Hey friends, welcome back to the WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. This is the second video in the WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course, and today I'll talk about core web vitals and individual metrics. Before we start the video, let me share some of the most valuable resources with you. If you want to speed up your slow loading website for free, I have a couple of solutions. I'm offering WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course for free. The course contains plenty of videos that will help you speed up your website. You can join our dedicated community for free. Post your questions and I'll do my best to assist you. Finally, you can visit our website, click on audits, and in the form if you provide the required information, I will audit your website, highlight the issues that need to be fixed, and provide solutions. Let me put it in simple words. Core Web Vitals are a subcategory of Web Vitals. Google's Web Vitals program aims to give uniform guidelines for quality signals that are critical to providing a better user experience on the web. Google started to collect the site's performance data for Chrome users from millions of websites. You can view your site's performance data using various tools such as Google Console. I'll discuss more about the tools and Crux report at the later stage of the course. On May 28, 2020, Google introduced Core Web Vitals, and now Core Web Vitals has become a ranking factor for search results. Core Web Vitals primarily focuses on three areas. They are the largest contentful paint, first input delay, which will be replaced with interaction to next paint, and cumulative layout shift, which are also known as LCP, FID, INP, and CLS. What is LCP? Largest contentful paint metrics measure the time it takes for the biggest image, or text block to become viewable within the browser window. What is FID? First input delay is the time between when a user interacts with a page by clicking a link, tapping a button, and key presses, and when the web browser can respond to the user interaction. First input delay will be replaced with the new metrics. Interaction to next paint, which is also known as INP on March 2024. I'll discuss more on INP in a moment. INP, or Interaction to Next Paint, is a metrics that assess a page's overall responsiveness to user interactions by observing the latency of all clicks, tap, and keyboard interactions that occur throughout the lifespan of a user's visit to a page. The final INP value is the longest interaction observed ignoring outliers. Many think INP and FID are the same, which is not true. First input delay monitors the time between the first click, and that could be clicking a link, tapping a button, and key presses and when the web browser can respond to the user interaction. Whereas in interaction to next pane, a page's overall responsiveness to user interactions is measured, and only the interaction that took the longest time is recorded. What is CLS? CLS is a measure of the largest burst of layout shift score for every unexpected layout shift that occurs during the entire lifespan of a page. A layout shift occurs any time a visible element changes its position from one rendered frame to the next. Largest contentful paint, first input delay, interaction to next paint, and cumulative layout shift are the three metrics that are measured for core web vitals. However, there are a couple of more metrics that are not part of the core web vitals. And let me cover them as well so that it will be easier for you to understand. Total blocking time is one of the lab data metrics. I've seen some people saying total blocking time is known as time to first byte, which is not true, and both are different metrics. In the main thread, if a task takes over 50 milliseconds, then it's considered as blocked, as the browser cannot interrupt a task in progress. The time between when the page starts to load and when any part of the page's content is rendered on the screen is known as first content full paint. For FCP, the content can be text, images, background images, SVGs, or even non-white canvas elements. First, let me show you some visual references. In this image, in the first frame, text is rendered on the screen. Hence, this is considered as first contentful paint. Don't get confused between first contentful paint and largest contentful paint, as both are two different metrics. Speed index measures how quickly content is visually displayed during the page load. Lighthouse begins by recording a video of the page loading in the browser, and then computes the visual evolution between frames. The speed index score is then calculated by Lighthouse using the speedline node.js module, TTI, or Time to Interactive Metrics, measures the time from when the page starts loading to when its main sub-resources have loaded, and when the page can reliably respond to user input quickly. 
This looks too complicated, but don't worry, my friends. In the upcoming videos, I'll cover the individual metrics in detail, and that will help you to understand things better. If you think the content you have watched till now is valuable, then this short video is a must watch for you. If you want to learn how to optimize a website efficiently, the ultimate speed optimization course is for you. Speed up your website, pass core web vitals, and increase your business growth. This course is suitable for complete beginners, intermediates, and advanced users. Here is a website that scored 16 on PageSpeed Insights and took 29.2 seconds to load. In just a few hours, the website scored a perfect 100 and loaded in just 174 milliseconds. Become a speed optimization expert and expand your portfolio. You are not just learning how to optimize websites. In the 100K Web Agency Mastery course, I'll show you how to find high paying clients, generate recurring revenue, etc. If you're wondering how much I charge for optimizing a website, the pricing starts at $500, which can go up to $30,000. I want to see you charge the same to your clients. By the end of this course, I want clients to search for you and not the other way around. The first 300 people who join the Ultimate Speed Optimization course will get a 100K Web Agency Mastery course worth $497 for free. Course links are in the video description and in the pinned comment area. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more such videos, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel and share the video with others. Sharing the video with others will help me get more views and motivate me to create more valuable videos to help you and others. We appreciate your support and look forward to having you in our community. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, take care. Bye.